Hello, my friends, and welcome back to PlayStation Live from E3. To my left, I have Sid Schumann, and we have a very special guest, Yade from Housemark. We are big fans of Housemark big over here. Big fans. So welcome. You are a most honored guest on our show. <laughs> uh, I'm or glad you could here. make it. Yeah. We are still getting Matterfall set up. That's what we're here to talk about. Ah, very we're getting good. it set up in the back because we want to play it for you guys. But uh, Yade, first of all, tell us a little bit. We besides the initial announcement trailer for Matterfall. Yeah. That's all I saw for a while. <laughs> yeah. And then during. Yeah the PlayStation Live for Me 3 yes. for our showcase. That's right. We saw some actual gameplay, yeah. just spectacular side-scrolling action. I mean, what would you guys say is the, the origin story of Matterfall? What, why did you guys go in that direction? Well, we, we are really big fans like old-school side-scroller action games like Turrican, and Contra and Hurricane, I got that vibe. Yeah. Off right away. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody yeah. else knows what that is, but I do. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Sid, and, Sid, I'm glad you're on the case. Yeah. And same like like run and gun games like Gunstar Heroes and oh. games like that. You're so, naming all the classics. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we wanted to like upgrade that genre and do something like new new on it. So we 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 put our own spin on it. And what is that new spin? Because there's a lot going on on cam you know, yeah. in that in that footage, in the footage we're seeing here. Yeah, there's so, so much breakdown. A couple of those systems. Yeah. So, so basically, in it, in its core, Matterfall is a twin stick shooter. So Perfect. You, you move it the left, shoot with the right stick. But we added lots of elements from platforming games and bullet hell games. So it's like a mix of multiple genres. Okay. A little bit of Ikaruga in there. Yeah, just yeah, li yeah, a little bit. Of, like lots of bullets on the screen and lots of enemies on the screen. We can get back to the specifics, but I have to ask this question. <laughs> How do you guys, you guys basically monopolize the <laughs> shooter, yeah. I feel. You, you're very comfortable in that space. Yeah. I want to know how you guys keep energized and keep focused in that kind of single vision of like twin stick shooter, we're going all in on that. How do you guys kind of keep yourselves energized? No, well, we, we love the genre, as you can see. So we, we are just like uh, tuning and honing our skills, how, how we can do better twin stick shooters all the time. Yeah, what, is there anything in particular that you feel like you guys really want to innovate on in, uh, in that category? Like, what about the twin stick shooter do you really yeah. gravitate towards? No, well, let, let's say that the, like the wrapper for our twin stick shooter is usually something new. So, like in Matterfall, we have the platforming elements. So it's not the pure twin stick shooter experience. So we're we seeing all, that right now. Sorry yeah, to interrupt, but that's the yeah. volumes that you can dash yeah, through there. Yeah, you can actually create those blue volumes that we are going to see there, and you can use that like as a shield or a platform. So cool. How do yeah. they make it look so good? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah, we what have kind of technical wizardry. Do you yeah, have we have lots of like technical, technical wizard coders and effect artists that makes our game look awesome. And I love that House Mark is. Uh, they're such fans of the voxel. Yeah. Voxel is an <laughs> underrated technology. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a background on what the voxel is right this second. It stands for uh, volumetric pixel. Yeah. And oh, you're really going for uh, it. I'm going for everything. <laughs> All right, go here. for it, man. And I, ever since uh, I saw it in games like Delta Force or Blood or yeah. any of those games that dabbled in the voxel universe, yeah. it's such a cool technology, and you guys have really mastered it with Resogun, Resogun and, yeah. and then here with uh, Matterfall. It, sadly, we have no voxels in Matterfall. You don't? No. I was it's, given incorrect <laughs> information. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 3D. It's, yeah. just, it's just polygon. Yeah, it's, it's okay. polygon. Sid, I'm polygon glad we got that yeah. look at voxels. <laughs> look, we got one <laughs> thing out of the way. We can check voxels. Yeah, off you're the like, list. you know what? We're done with voxels for now. <laughs> We're moving on to the next big technology. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, tell me a little bit about, you know, obviously your previous games, they have a lot of score chasing elements. Yeah. There's some light RPG elements in games like Dead Nation, which you are a oh, fan of. Oh, I'm a yeah. huge Dead Nation um, fan. Yeah. But tell us a little bit about the subsystems, the things that are going to be behind the curtain that yeah, are going to so, be playing so ba around. Basically, uh, you can set up different kind of loadouts with your character. So you, you can find civilians from the le each level, and they give you a reward, uh, like a secondary fire or augmentation that will modify your gameplay. So you can build up like different kind of loadouts with your, with your character. Cool. And of course, we have have the score chasing mechanics also. Each level has a high score list that you can compete with other players. You got the combos going on, and you also got yeah. this dash move that I think is really interesting. Yeah. You, you'll see them uh, the, are, are right there. You just saw it. It creates a shockwave. It's a little bit like a, a smidge like Rezo Gun, the yeah. boost technique there. But here it stuns enemies, right? Yeah, basically it stuns enemies. It, it's it's then you have an easier time to killing the enemies. So basically, we want, when in doubt, use the dash mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> just like in real life. Yeah, just in, yeah. So basically, it's also the defensive and offensive move. This is one of the things I wanted to ask, because in Super Stardust HD, which we were talking about yeah. before. Such a great game. I know, we could, we could, we could go on and on Let's about it. talk stuff. about Super Stardust we HD. We could, but no, no, I don't want to okay. you know, screw Matterfall over. Okay, but okay. The dash was like, 
that was always if you're about to die, yeah. you dash. Yeah. yeah. Is that the same here? And yeah, what, are, what are some here, other like in a pinch moves that you yeah, have? Yeah, basically, uh, used to dash all the time. Dash through the enemies, dash through the bullets, and uh, go, go close to the enemies with the dash. How do you guys design systems like that that are designed to help the player, like a dash? Yeah. But keep them from being abused. Uh, all the time. Well, it's it's lots of like balancing and iteration. So we first we have like the dash that it, it also de dealt damage. But okay. it felt too overpowered. Right. You, so, people are just dashing all yeah, over them. They've yeah, never fired their yeah, gun they, before. Yeah, they just uh, exactly, exactly. And then what happened after that? And then, then you guys started just, to turn yeah, it down? Started, do, doing it down uh, and not doing it so overpowered move. Good, because you can't have an overpowered dash. Yeah. Set. Can't have it. No. No good. No. Yeah. What what games uh, have you worked on at Housemark? unless Matterfall is your first game? Yeah. Uh, no, Matterfall is actually my second game. Okay. I, I work on Alienation. Great game as well. Yeah. What, what what kind of learnings and experience from Alienation did you and the team bring in to Matterfall? Because well, those are kind of the games most tightly together in your catalog. Yeah. Well, well basically, uh, we are all about the gameplay. So gameplay has to feel good, look good, and everything that player does seems to have to so, uh, look awesome. Yeah. So that's that basically the learning from So from a games. sort of a, a visual perspective, an art perspective, uh, yeah. w what are some inspirations for you guys here in terms of how the game looks uh, aesthetically? Like uh, those uh, clean sci-fi movies, like uh, Oblivion or s stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, so that, that clean sci-fi, like the clinical sci-fi. I love it. Yeah. That's so good. Well, we're almost out of time. Yade, uh, do you have any parting messages for the uh, for, for hardcore house mark fans like Sid so, and myself so, before we yeah. go? Butterfall is out in 15 of the August on North America and 16 of the August on, uh, on Europe and awesome. 1999. So it's right around the corner. Yeah, like coming up. It's, it's a fair up. price. You guys yeah. always charge a fair price for a ton of gameplay. I know. There's so much. This one has. Uh, it's right around the corner. So this one's yeah. bolted to the top of my most wanted E3. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool to hear. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for. Yeah. Joining, thanks for having me. Man. It's such yeah. a pleasure to have you. Yeah. Always a pleasure to have House Mark on the show. Yeah. Always. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have so much more coming up. Not only from seeing Matterfall, but also later today we have more games to show you. Please do not go anywhere. Stay with us.